Hello anyone. Today I'm going to be showing you a wig that I got and the wig is called Hazel. This is Hazel. I have her on right now. This is the style card that it comes with. Hazel from Sensational. And the color that I have is T1B30. I don't know if I had covered that up before. T1B30. Hazel from Sensational. And I really like this wig a lot. I'm going to show you the side view. And I've worn this wig before. And I already took the two combs out from the front and the one comb that comes in the back. It also comes with drawstrings. And I took those out as well because I don't need them and I don't like them. So I took them out. Now, you probably can tell right here that it looks very, very much like a wig. And I don't really have a problem with that, but a lot of times people want to cover up the fact that they're having a wig on so you could use a headband you can use the headband to show or rather to cover that up like that well you could push it back a little bit more and then put the headband on there so it won't be falling off in front of your face <laughs> But I don't really want to push it all the way back like that right now. Which I probably should since this is supposed to be some kind of... Uh, well, I don't know. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Here's another headband that I can use if I want to cover up that little part in the front. But basically, I will take it all the way under. I will take it under like that. And then pull it all the way right there and I would just line it up like that so that way you can't really see the line of the wig pretty cool huh yeah and then there's another headband you can use all kinds of headbands to cover up your wig line and here's one that is kind of like a hat, and I really like that. So, you know, you could just button it up. and go, Especially if you live where it's really cold. You can cover it up like that. And just be styling. And this helps to keep your head warm if you're in a really cold climate. But you can also take it from underneath like I did the other one. Just go underneath and oops. Underneath and bring it all the way up like that. And button it in the button it in the front well maybe this is not working out as well as I thought it would because you know when you get in front of the camera things don't always work out as smoothly as you thought it would but that's not really what I wanted to do anyway just hold on I'll show you the other thing I guess what I really wanted to do was okay Ooh, how can I do this I wanted to um I didn't bring a little rubber band so 
I don't know how I'm gonna do this without a rubber band. Pretend this is a rubber band, all right? Make a little ponytail just to get it out of my way, right? Okay. So then get it out the way. And then bring it like this because I really like those sequins. If you if you look closely, I'm not sure if you can tell. Yeah, you can tell if I come all the way close. This has beautiful, beautiful sequins in it. So take it all the way underneath in the back and then just buckle it like that. Button it like that. <clears throat> That's what I meant to say, button it like that. And then take it loose and have it like that. That's another way you could do it if you feel like it. You know, like if it's really cold where you are and you wanna cover your ears or something like that cover your forehead and stuff like that and make yourself a lot warmer you can do it that way so and then you know in that way you're showing off all those beautiful beautiful sequins so that's one way to do it but okay the way that I found out about this wig is taste pink right she had this wig on and the way she wore it, it was so outstanding so irresistible so magnificent so beautiful and I thought oh I would love to have it but the way she styled it it was so different than you know than it is when I got the wig and put it on I was like why did the wig look shorter on her like over here it looked like the wig was shorter and she had her hair sticking out and slicked on the side and I was thinking she must have cut that wig because she has a lot of skills and so I thought she must have cut that wig to her own flavor her own style her own preference I should say and um and I don't really want to cut the wig but I really like the way she had it right but then and I watched that wig probably 20 times I mean the, the, the video probably 20 times <laughs> but um okay so I watched the, the video 20 times and she said she said um she said that she used the flip method for the wig and I didn't know what the flip method was and I didn't want to send a question and ask because I know she's very busy because she has about a million customers a million subscribers so I said I don't really want to ask her because I don't know if she's gonna even bother to answer but she she usually she used to answer my stuff all the time but now she has so many customers that I don't know if she's gonna answer so I said I just don't know and I just anyway I like it the way it is so whatever and then I remembered that somebody else mentioned somebody in another video I mentioned flipping a wig over to get yet a different style so that's what I tried and then I want to show you what happened when I flipped the wig over <clears throat> all right so this is how it would it would be just you know like straight out the box this is the style that it has and everything and this is basically the style that you see this young lady in except she bought her baby bangs out right she did, and, and I don't know, I heard somebody say that, you know, after you reach a certain age, you shouldn't do baby bangs. And so I kind of just don't do them anymore because how can you have baby bangs if your hair is gray? <laughs> but anyway, never mind. Because I dye my hair so it's no longer gray all the time. But sometimes you can still see the gray hair. So I decided that, you know, I fit very well into the category of too old to wear baby bangs so I just don't bother with them anymore but uh, okay back to the uh, concept at hand is flipping the wig okay so I'm gonna flip this wig and show you what happens when the wig is flipped over okay this is the top right here where my fingertips are got it so I'm gonna take that top of the wig and put it in the back. Flip it to the back, Jack. Where the label right here is gonna be, the label is gonna be in the front, and the front of the wig where you see that black hair right there, and the part, well there's no part, but that black hair right there is gonna be in the back.
Okay, so I have flipped the wig over. And initially it's, and I wore this like this once before in another video. But um, initially the hair is just kind of like all flopping in my face and everything. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring a hair pin. I didn't bring anything to, uh, to hold this hair back off my face. So I might run in the room and go get something, but I might not because y'all know, uh, well, I just might not just might. Well, actually, just to be honest, I don't want y'all to see these funky pants I got on. Fancy pants, I mean. I don't want you to see these fancy pants of mine. So I don't want to go to the other room. But I'll just give you kind of like an example of what would happen if I took a pin and pinned it back right here so it wouldn't fall all the way in my face, right? This is how it would be looking. And I could also, you know, put a pin somewhere over there. But basically, most of the hair is over here. So, I got the hair over there. And it just took the, the wig to a whole different attitude, a whole different level, a whole nother style. And I actually really, really liked it. I thought it was an excellent idea. I don't know if I would ever have. I, I'm sure I never would have thought of doing that on my own but I decided to try it and so here it is here's Hazel flipped over Hazel flipped over Hazel flipped over. Now, if you wonder how much hazel costs, I'm going to tell you in just a moment. I think hazel is a movie star. I do, I do, I do. Hazel flipped over. All right, now if you want to know where I got Hazel, it was ebonyline.com. Purchase price was $15.95. Shipping cost $10.07. Grand total $26.02 for Hazel. And I think she's worth every penny. What do you think? Thank you for watching.